The royal physician, Anton Sokolov, is now in the custody of the loyalists. Through Sokolov, it will be possible to strike directly at those closest to the Lord Regent. How cooperative will the most brilliant man of the Empire be? He must be swayed or coerced into telling what he knows. We're probably going to go down a very dark path here. Anyways, as you may have guessed, Sketchbag, Dishonored, you know the drill. I have... They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Well, no, because it was a stealth. will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly. And ultimately stealth help thing. you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. Good the royal physician Surgical was brilliant, stealth extraction. but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. I'll see what else I have to do here. I just throw him in the throw him in the river right now. Fuck everything up. Yep, yeah, a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Ooh, new ones occur. Okay, that's interesting. Like, yeah, a dozen soldiers could have done it better. It was a surgical extraction. Attention it was... Citizens. This evening, the streets adjacent to Pendleton Manor will be closed for a private ceremony following the tragic loss of two of our city's best and brightest, uh. the Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. All holdings and parliamentary votes now fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton, who asks for respect during this time of mourning. Okay, cool, cool. Um, but yeah... Like, I suppose. Like, I, I, I suppose, uh, soldiers couldn't have done it better. But yeah, you're not gonna send a bunch of soldiers to kidnap a dude. You're gonna send one dude who's really fucking sneaky to kidnap a dude, which is what you did. You might as well have told me a trained monkey couldn't have done it better. Like, you sent the, the right thing for the job the first time. I get in there. Is this part of the kennels? Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and money changes hands. Oh yeah, because this used to be a dog fighting place. Right. Uh... Lord Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. It concerns the departure of his brothers. I'm sure you understand. Cool, cool. Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 41. In which I bed two of the Boyle women, and only missed the third by virtue of some inclement weather. It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three boil women soon took notice, and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Found these interruptions. Okay. I just don't know how I'm supposed to get to that bone charm. Havelock, bravo, sir. The Lord Regent is furious about losing the most recent vote of Parliament. 
He was counting on the support of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance. Just as he said it would, losing the Pendleton voting block has really slowed him down. And since the Lord Regent's defense budget has failed as well, he's getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the coin he's using to keep the City Watch going is coming from a close ally. We suspect it's a powerful noblewoman who is perhaps his mistress. I'll try to dig up more of this information. As we know, if the Watch doesn't get paid, in coin and elixir, their loyalty will start to crumble. Your friend on the inside. Don't worry. We won't start the interrogation without you. He's returning with now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo project lethal force, he can do so an extraction I didn't think possible. Um, and soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here, together. If I get these rivals to cooperate, they can create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. I command both of them. Well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions towards one another before following that line of thought. Pendleton was willing to go further. Well, he served his own flesh and blood to the cause. I'm not going to read all these. Okay, so I have no idea how to get to that bone charm whatsoever. Um, my money is on... It's near where they're interrogating him, so I will go to sleep and find it tomorrow. Nighty night. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Yeah, I'm not gonna boss Plus her around. will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Ooh. Corvo, this is a drawing I made of you without your scary mask. Daddy. So... So is she my daughter? Was I fucking the Empress? I wasn't the Emperor or Emperor Consort. I was just her bodyguard, but I mean... Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The Dance of Investiture will take place without delay. Whoa, 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 like Martin, as in our Martin? How the fuck did they choose him? The renovation of Caldwin's Bridge will be delayed indefinitely. Until then, citizens cross at their own risk. Like, that, that makes no sense. Because he was, you know, stripped of his rank and branded a traitor. I mean, whenever we come out on top... Oh, did that bone charm disappear overnight? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is terrible. I'm now mad and angry. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. Oh, she's having her bath. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And God for right. both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. And preserving the timeless beauty of like our For fuck's sake. Cities. Like, what's, what's even going on here? Is, is it actually... Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I am sorry, lady. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go beat you. Is there like a non-lethal thing I have? Like a... Just like a bat. I just want to rough him up. Jesus, man. Have some decency. Okay, 
Yeah, so I definitely did lose a bone charm there. I'm not getting all the... I already knew I wasn't getting all the bone charms for the, uh... For the entire game. That was something I was unfortunately already aware of. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Of course, it's just not this that time. I object. Royal physician, I oh. believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spy master, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. Why have you I've been feeding before. children? How long do you think it'll be before you to talk? Before rats. you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. It's time to put him to the question. Okay. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Okay, let's see how this goes. Sorry, Sokolov. No, not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. That was fast. I'm to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you. She still makes a striking portrait, but I do not know which boil she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect for her. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? How do you yes, know? You just see You'll be me. able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I mean, I don't really care if Emily's on the throne. Like, we're doing this all for the sake of monarchy. That's not really worth it. And on he knew me once, and did much to set me on my path. Oh, that's neat. Yes, so close a the looks and manner of a particular swiner. But he is also a great genius. Not all his knowledge was gleaned from academy books. Some is gained from a maid servant's he beds. What the aristocracy will pay for a portrait painted by Anton Sokolov. If only they knew how much he detests. The city owes much to this great mind. Let him drink and find company where he can. Anton Sokolov. He knew me once and did much to set me on my path. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city. And perhaps the Empire itself. Yes, Sokolov's a foreigner. Okay, yeah, so it does just loop completely. But he is also a great genius. Yeah, 
there is no bonus rounds here whatsoever. Breaking my heart. I hear you're off to the boils, little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Okay. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. I'll be sorry to miss the whole affair. But you know how it is. Top secret missions and all that. To the thing, Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. For one so steeped in courtly manners, his thoughts do linger long on revenge and murder. The younger Pendleton, jealous little Trevor, always in the shadow. He is prone to skin infections. His eyes are sensitive to the light. Pendleton's ships come back from the Pandasian continent, crowded with poor, frightened captives. To think, Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. This heart just seems to tell me everybody is the worst, always. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Okay, see, that sounds awesome. That's the part of the setting I want. Listen, I can hear their every thought. I am not alive, nor have I received the gift of death. Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than in all the rest put together. He has killed whales and men for the profit and in pleasure. He has the bloodlust. He tried to seize control of the military after the Empress. After she, the Empress, was murdered. Look at him. Admiral Havelock rose restless on land. There was a younger brother, and an artist, sensitive, soft. Taken at nine by a fever, Havelock loved him truly. Admiral Havelock is seen more... Okay, so this is literally just like making me... It's like a million reasons to distrust literally everybody here. I can feel a great age ending. He always eats very well, even as his wife and child grow thin. It is in the common man that the Abbey finds its most faithful. He steals from his business partner a little every day. What awful things do you have to tell me about this guy that I don't already know? Each and every night, the black-eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. He is Piero Joplin. Even now, he visualizes the next invention. Astonish. I wish you could see it too. Poor Piero. His elixirs have cured so much for so many, but they cannot cure his brain fevers. The youngest ever to pass through the Academy of Natural Sciences. So the law will never forgive him that. He has spied upon Callista as she bathes. More than once. <sighs> Fucking perv. Each and every night to the last. Yeah, hey, don't mind me. Don't mind me, man. Stealing your coin. What will I say when Sokolov has passed at his funeral? Like this, perhaps. Sokolov is dead. Gone forever. We were rivals at the Academy, yes. He was jealous of my agile brain 
and his flannergies. But he's dead now. And what can I say about him? Sokolov, he did improve on some inventions. He did well for himself in his room. He had many admirers among the aristocracy, especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural philosophy. He was a painter of portraits. They say his work was genius. That remains to be seen. Time will tell. Yeah, you're a salty little bitch. Dear uncle, it's been a while since I've heard from you. And with the way things they have been in we'll see each other again. I just wanted to tell you I'm doing well, and I'm safe, for now. My job, caring for a young girl, is better than I expected. Though she can be very trying. But I'm treated well. There is enough to eat. I fare better than most, I suppose. We are the last of our family, Uncle Kurnow. We just have to go on living, if we can. May we see each other soon. Your niece, Calista. Aww. There's someone else that this heart could tell me awful things about. Parting around. The, the doom of Pandesia has come to the city. city. The other servants, servants don't, don't like her. Work, Work is, is never, never done, done for the lowly servant. servant. The, the river rushed in when the barrier broke. broke. The whole district went, went dark. dark. She, she is a seamstress in a shop frequented, frequented by the wealthy. wealthy. Okay, so a lot of the servants just get rando information. Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are. Can't you see? I'm oh, about to Oh, shit. I understand. It was an accident. We have such a hard time maintaining privacy in such a crowded house. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Okay. I did notice that, uh... Did notice that super skeezy, uh, pickup line there, as well as another option. Which... I have too much... Too much decency to there try. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face. But a T.D. Martin is one. Yeah, and it's him. That's his first name. So how the fuck was he chosen as the next time? He won't be deceived by his talk of strictures. strictures. Martin's crimes weigh heavy on his spirit. He has been a soldier, a highway robber, and a man of faith. He wonders which is more powerful, the knife or the tongue. He always had his sights set on the Abbey's highest office. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outside The high overseer is supposed to be the most pious man in the Empire. Living completely in alignment with the seven strictures and guiding the people in the religious faction towards spiritual health. Campbell was a farce. If not for all the blackmail material he accumulated, he'd have never been more than a lower level initiate among overseers. The Admiral Lord Pendleton and I have already begun using some of what we've learned from Campbell's black book, Corvo. You've given us powerful leverage to get the overseers on our side. I can't thank you enough. I'll speak to you later. I've got to go through Campbell's journal again. It's incredible. A decade of secrets, betrayals, and observations. Now I understand how such a man rose to the top of the Abbey. Okay, okay, so that's... That's roughly all I needed to know from that. He just blackmailed everybody. So, you've already pried into the mind of the great Sokolov. I must admit, with both you and Sokolov, it's rather thrilling to have such notable figures here with us. I wonder if Sokolov's loyalties could be turned in our favor. Okay.
Alright, Piero, you creepy bastard. Where are you? You require my unique services? Yeah. You can quickly return to my shop. Yeah, I want your stuff. Boot stealth. Reduce the foot stealth sounds. Sure. Also going to load up completely on sleep bolts because those are very useful. I can't pretend not to need them. Other than that, I'm honestly good. So I don't have that much need of services. hard have to say about you, Samuel. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. Oh. The boatman has a good heart and respects you. Samuel is a simple man, but he knows the river Red Haven and all its tributaries, down to the smallest inlet. He has many scars, some from the phlegm of the river crests, some from the nameless monsters of the deep ocean. Samuel was once eager to hear Havok's stories of the sea, but perhaps the Admiral is not what he expected. Samuel Beechworth went to sea okay. to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. Okay, so you th you've got like the most positive stories so far. I suppose I should probably trust you. You always cut me off. You always cut me off, Samuel. That's royal okay. costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Yes, indeed. Pissed that I missed that bone, like that uh, the extra bone charm there, but like whatevs. You've learned that the Lord Regent's strongest supporter is Lady Boyle. However, the three women of the Boyle family are referred to as Lady Boyle. The wife of the late Lady Boy Lord Boyle and her sisters. Stockwell painted Lady Boyle from behind under unusual circumstances and does not know which is actually the Lord Regent's ally. You're being sent to the posh Boyle estate on the night of the costume party in order to determine which Lady Boyle you must eliminate. I could get them all, but I mean... Good grief, the Lord Regent's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk quality. Better you than me. No shit. What are you? Oh, God. I don't like that. Alright. Later, Sammy. Are you, are, you, are you just dropping me off? Uh, Jesus Christ, Samuel. There's some runes and bone charms over there in this building. So she stopped singing as they passed, and they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. 
Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. But she hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I'm gonna take one of those zealots apart myself. I'll be right behind you. If you guys are both headed this way. Guys. I don't really care what you guys get. Oh. Not me they're shooting at, is it? No, it's not. Well, that's good for me. That's what I think. I think what I need is over this way. Oh no, don't notice me tall friend. Oh god, it's a rat swarm. Be spilling out this way though. around this episode I should leave it at that that's a lesson though not to fuck with these tall fellows see you guys next time take care